But first, a close casting call. After all, there's no place like home. What you don't know about your favorite movie musicals. I didn't know what the hell it was inside until I seen the movie, you know. Do Munchkin Land. When. One little girl, 124 little people, three witches, three great song and dance men, and our third best musical. But who's counting? The Wizard of Oz. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Amazingly, Somewhere Over the Rainbow almost didn't make the final cut, which Judy Garland joked about years later. They didn't know what they were doing. But they thought it would take up too much time with this little fat girl thing. <laughs> Actually, the studio didn't want their star singing in a barnyard, but that's not what bothered Judy at the time. During Over the Rainbow, Toto was right by her face and did the little thing with his paw. And my mother said that dog had the worst breath that she has ever experienced. And she, she said he was sort of eye-watering. Oh, why can't I? And although Judy enjoyed making the movie, she also had to deal with her camera-hungry co-stars. When they went to do the little dance up the Yellow Brick Road, they would squeeze her out because they, that's what they were all for themselves. And Victor Fleming used to yell, Hold it, you three dirty heads! Let that little girl in there. We represent the Lollipop Guild. Jerry Marin was a member of the Munchkin Lollipop Guild. That's him in the center. He was 18 then. He's 91 now. You know, he had the skull caps on me. I didn't know what the hell it was inside until I seen the movie, you know. We wish to welcome you to Munchkin. A magical musical adventure that stretches from the plains of Kansas to the Emerald City, the Wizard of Oz. Oz was a familiar place by 1939. There had been a series of children's books and a number of silent films. And a young child star was thought to be perfect for the part, Shirley Temple. But I'm glad to be home, because after all, there's no place like home. But her vocal range was too limited. This girl, Frances Gum, was a better choice. She was now 16 years old and had changed her name to Judy Garland. In a memorable moment that wowed audiences at the time, the movie leaves black and white behind and moves to Technicolor. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. It's kind of about dreams. You know, it's really about entering a dreamscape in a way that few big films have ever tried to do and still don't try to do. And for most of us, it was a signature moment of our youth. The first time we saw the Emerald City and were scared as a children's tale turned dark. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Over 100 extras, all little people, were hired for the film most coming from vaudeville or the circus. One was Jerry Marin. So what we got was actually $50 a week. And believe it or not, Toto, I believe he made 200 and something. Run, Toto, run! Well, he deserved every penny. He was clever, Toto. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And yet, when she wakes up and everybody's there to hug her, I get the real strong impression that she misses. Oz. And so do we.